Hey guys, Brandon Schutte with Midwest Outdoors, and I'm sure all of you guys remember that TV show used to be on MTV, Pimp My Ride. Well, this is Pimp My Ride Ice Fishing Edition. Let's get after it. So this machine right here is just a standard utility type four-wheeler. This isn't like a trail rider or anything like that. Um, but I have converted this thing into what I think is one of the ultimate ice fishing machines that I could probably get out of just a smaller, cheap four-wheeler. So the first thing that I put on here was this uh, front extension rack. And what this did was it just allowed more room onto the front rack of the four-wheeler. So if you come over here and check all this out, what I have laid out on this, on this rack, I have auger mount up front, and then I have just behind that, because I run all drills, all Milwaukee drills for my augers. Now I just have this soft sided cooler for all of my drill batteries in here. And one thing I added inside this bag, you can see this switch right here, is this, uh, this little heat pack system. That runs just off of a USB and it heats all my batteries inside here so they don't get cold. Another item that I added to this, to this four wheeler, to this machine, is one of these battery boxes. Um, I never really thought I would use it as much as I really do. Uh, but the way I mounted it on this front rack is it just, it's got its own little spot right in here. Slides right in that, right in that little cradle there. I have some latches on the side here that keep it, uh, keep it fastened down to the four-wheeler so that you're not going to be dealing with loose wiring after a while, that type of thing. But this unit right here can power my hummingbird for mapping. Um, you can charge cell phones. You can run different types of graphs off of it. You can even charge uh, uh, your Vexilars, anything that you really need as far as being out on the ice and just having that extra, extra power source is really awesome. So on this four-wheeler, I added, I think it's right around a dozen rod holders. I know to a lot of you, it looks like overkill. It's pretty busy on this four-wheeler. Um, but the reason that I do that is I tournament fish. And when you're out tournament fishing and you're working a school of crappies, a school of bluegills, and a color isn't working, the type of jig isn't working that you're throwing at them. And instead of having to retie when it's zero degrees out, I can just grab a different rod off of one of these racks and I can just put the other one back. And if that's not working, just keep switching rods out. That way everything is just readily available for me while I'm on the ice. Another thing I added onto this unit is this removable little light bracket that I made. I wanted to permanently mount like a light bar onto the front of this rack, but the way I have my four-wheeler set up, it's on an open trailer for, for towing to the lake, and I just didn't want anything to happen, a rock kicking up from the truck and busting these lights. So what I did is I just hardwired these in and uh, hooked up a cigarette plug, and that hooks up right into the four-wheeler. And so when I turn that four-wheeler on off, that's its power source is the starting battery. So when I'm out tournament fishing, I want to be as mobile and as fast as possible on the ice. It, I have this auger rack set up up front right here, so as soon as I jump off this four-wheeler, I can grab the auger, pop a hole, and as you can see here, I put this box dead center of the front rack. Uh, this box is for my live imaging sonar setup, so I can pop a hole, I can grab my live imaging uh, sonar system, scan whichever direction and try to find fish. If there's no fish, I can put it all right back onto the four-wheeler and go another 200 feet and just keep scanning. To me, one of the best tools to have on the ice is good mapping of the lake that you're on. So I added my Helix 7 Hummingbird just up here on a ram mount. That is just connected to a cigarette plug that goes into that battery box. That way I have hands-on mapping right here at the, at the handlebars. Uh, when I'm going across the lake, I can zoom in, zoom out, just one touch. I don't have to stop, and I can just keep right on going. You know, we're making long runs on the ice. And if, you know, you're running across some, some lakes that uh, they froze over when it was wavy or just the, the hard-packed snow drifts, um, it can be really rough on your equipment, including your rods. And so I added this on here just for making those long runs. Um, holds four rod reel combos and just keeps them safe, keeps them tucked in. They're not going to be flying around, flying off the four-wheeler or anything like that when you're flying across the lake. So, and it just hooks right onto the four-wheeler with this, with this boot that's on here. Slides right on. Just another cool thing I added to this wheeler. This back box here will hold three five-gallon buckets. Um, as you can see in the back side here, I have a backpack, 
Um, I actually have a cooler right here that I use to put fish in for tournaments. Um, I can put my, uh, my sonar flasher here in the back. I, I mean, it's just, just a lot, lot extra room just for any type of gear that you're going to be wanting to bring on the ice. Um, on the side here, you know, I have four schoolie rods set up for tournament fishing. Um, I added this, uh, this bump board right here, very accessible. If I want a quick measure of fish, toss it back in for the tournament. And when you come around to this side, you know, when customizing your ATV for ice fishing, there really is no right or wrong way to do it. It comes down to, you know, what type of fisherman you are, what, you're, what type of fish you're chasing, whether it's, you know, panfish, walleyes, northern pike, you're chasing perch. Um, and the cool part, you know, just about decking out your four-wheeler is just, you know, uh, you know, designing and, and, and building, you know, kind of what you need for a day on the ice, whether you're a tournament fisherman or just, you know, the, the average Joe wanting to go out on the ice and you need a ton of gear to go out and do it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Pit My Ride Ice Fishing Edition. I'm Brennan Schutte with Midwest Outdoors. We'll catch you on the ice.